Hello, we're back again. I'm just going to show you how you build TV head end from a master, which is a more up-to-date version than using the stable, which has been out a while. Remember, using a master may have the odd quirk. I'm uh, doing this install on a Raspberry Pi 3. I'm just going to go to the Raspberry Pi website. Just going to scroll down. And I want operating system image. Going to show, uh, we'll see all download options. Just scroll down. We want Raspberry Pi OS Lite. Going to click on download. Going to put it in my downloads folder. I've already got it downloaded. So I'm just going to click cancel. I'll just close that down. I'm going to burn it with Raspberry Pi Imager. First thing I'm going to do is uh, choose OS. I'm going to scroll down to uh, use custom. I just double click on it. Then choose my SD card. Just cl uh, click on it to select. And then I'm going to click right. And then yes. Doesn't take too long to uh, write the uh, light version of uh, Raspberry Pi OS. I will uh, speed through it though. I'll speed it up a little bit. Right, that's done. Going to click on uh, continue. And I'll just close that down now. Thing you want to do now is unplug the SD card and then plug it back into your computer because we need to add a little file so we can uh, shush your SSH into the Raspberry Pi. So I'm just going to close that. Just going to open my PC. I'm going to go into the Raspberry Pi image or the SD card. I'm going to right click, go new, and then text document. I'm going to type in SSH. And the thing you want to do is remove the dot text even a little dot you want to remove that as well so it just says ssh just click enter on the keyboard then yes and i'll just close that that's all done now so you can unplug the sd card from your pc and now plug it into your raspberry pi for the first time give it a few seconds to boot We're going to use a bit of software called Putty now to log into the Raspberry Pi via, uh, via its IP address. Either look in your router or use a bit of software called Advanced IP Scanner to find the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. So I'm just going to start uh, Putty. So I'm going to type in the IP address in, in uh, Host name or IP address bar. Thing I'm going to do is save it. So I'm going to just call it TV. You can save it. So it saves you typing in the IP address again. So I'm just going to click save. So next time if you need to log in, you just click on TV and load. And then open. Just going to click yes. I'll just move it to the centre. Just going to log in as Pi, then uh, Raspberry, like normal. 
just going to open up a text document or a WordPad document. Let me just move this out of the way over to the side. First thing we want to do like normal is update the Raspberry Pi. Just going to copy it, right click to paste and then enter. It'll only take a few seconds to do. And that's done. Now we're going to do the upgrade. Just select it, right click, copy. Right click and enter again. Then Y for yes. I'll just speed this little bit up. But it doesn't take too long. There was only uh, nine packages which needed updating. Nearly finished. And that's done. I do recommend doing a reboot after you've done an update. So it's just sudo reboot, S-U-D-O. and then enter on your keyboard and then OK give the Raspberry Pi a few seconds to reboot now right click on the uh, top bar of PuTTY and click on restart session and we're logged back into the Pi So log in as Pi again, and then uh, Raspberry. So we log back, uh, log back in again. We're going to in, uh, install uh, dependencies now. So I'm just going to copy all of this. Just highlight it. Right click, copy. Right click to paste and then enter on your keyboard. Then Y for yes and enter on your keyboard. This may take a little while, but it uh, doesn't take too long, but I will speed it up a little bit. Right, that's done. Thing we need to do now is clone TV head end from GitHub. So just copy this bit of text. Uh, right click, copy. Right click again in PuTTY. Click enter. This doesn't take too long to do either, but I will speed it up a little bit. You're only talking about a minute, 30 seconds to a minute. And that's finished. Now we're going to change directory. Just going to copy this text, copy, right click again to paste it in, and then enter, and that's done. You'll notice it's gone sort of like a movie color, blue movie color. Now we're going to run the auto build.
So I'm just going to copy all this text. Right click, copy. And right click again to paste it. And then enter on your keyboard. Now this is going to take a good hour. I'm doing this on a Raspberry Pi 3 and it took an hour to finish. So uh, go out for a walk, make yourself something to eat. But it is going to take a while. I would say it will take a while even on a Pi 4. So I'm going to speed it up and I will see you in about an hour-ish once it's finished. I think it's nearly done. Oh, and welcome back. Yeah, it's nearly done now. Yep, that's done. thing we do now is uh, move out of the build directory either type in cd space and two dots or just copy the text like I'm doing copy right click to paste again and enter that's done thing we need to do now is find out what the uh, build was for the master this will change over time because the master gets updated regular so just look for this line you'll see it appear a few times in some of the lines you just want tv head end the build number and it for it uh, and for it to end in dot deb so i'm just going to highlight it you don't need to right click just highlight it that will copy it And then down the bottom here, I'm going to paste it in, right click and paste. If you get a little gap, because it should say dot .de, uh, .deb. So I just remove the gap. So that's done. That's what you want it to look like. So you've got TV head end, the build number, arm hf dot .deb. Uh, DEB. So I'm going to copy it. Can't get my words out tonight. Going to paste it in again. Right click and then enter. We are nearly done now. I promise you. Right, now you want to add in a username. I'm going to call it TV head end. Make sure you remember this. You can call it any name you want, but I'm just going to call it TV head end. Then you want to add a password. Just make sure you remember this because we're going to be using it in a minute. Just click OK on your keyboard both times and again. Nearly done. And that's uh, everything finished. Which for me did take a good hour. Might have taken about an hour and 15 from start to finish. Just going to do a reboot. Sudo reboot again. Then enter on your keyboard. Click OK. Just going to close down Putty. I just minimise my WordPad document. 
I'm going to give the Raspberry Pi a few seconds to reboot. Now we need the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, colon 9981. We're going to use this to log into TV head end. So I'm going to open Chrome. You want to type that in, the IP address, colon 9981. I've already got a shortcut. So I'm just going to click on it. Enter in the username you just set up about a minute ago. And then enter in the password. And then click sign in. So that's a TV head end built from the uh, latest master. So it's up to you if you want to use the master or you just want to use the normal stable version. It's entirely up to you. So as always, I uh, hope this video's helped and uh, goodbye.